Good morning, friends. It gives me immense pleasure to be here again for my course, Aircraft Systems. Today, my topic is Aviation Pneumatic System. We have seen in my previous module 3 topics that we have studied about the hydraulic systems, their components, and after that, we have seen that we have learned about pneumatic system. These pneumatic systems are used for emergency purpose when the main hydraulic system is failed. That time, pneumatic systems come into play. Before I commence to my topic of the day, my name is Dr. Y. D. Dubedi, professor from Department of Aeronautical Engineering, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad, India. As of now, I have covered all the five units. The first unit contains about introduction to aircraft systems, which is having four pillars. First one is airframe system, second one is vehicle system, third one is avionic system, and fourth one is mission system. Here I am in the second phase of vehicle system. This uh, pneumatic systems come as a part of the vehicle system. The vehicle system consists of the engine system, electrical system, oxygen system, icing and anti-icing uh, system, environmental system and so on. And out of that, this is also one system where we are going to discuss today about the pneumatic systems of the aircraft. These are the topics which I am going to cover today. Introduction of the pneumatic system. This is CO mapping is CO3. Types of pneumatic system, it is also CO3. Aircraft vacuum system, it is also CO3. Components of the pneumatic system, also CO3. Operation of this also CO3 case study on and statistics also the CO3. So what are the learning objective for this? So before any course start, we should understand that what we are going to learn by that uh, course. So today in this topic of pneumatic system, we are going to learn the objective of this presentation to develop the student's knowledge of the vacuum system to meet the basic functions in vacuum system that supply essential instruments of the aircraft and ability to detect abnormal or unsafe operation and responding to a vacuum system failure. So these are the objectives of this uh, PPT of the day. So introduction to pneumatic system, it employs air instead of the lipid for transmitting power. Pneumatic systems are sometimes used for brakes, opening and the closing of the doors, driving hydraulic pumps, alternators, starter, water injection, pumps, etc. Operating emergency devices. So these are the systems which are operated during by the help of pneumatic systems. Both pneumatic and hydraulic systems are similar units and use confined fluids. Liquids are practically incompressible. A quart of water still occupies about a quart of space regardless of how hard it is compressed. Gases are highly compressible. So the incompressible means if you are putting a water or some liquid, the high density liquid, the if you are pressing it will not concentrate, it will not become much less value. But if you compress the gases, it is very easily it can be compressed. So the liquids are incompressible, but gases are the compressible. So the our pneumatic system is a compressible system, not an incompressible system. So pneumatic system components, if we discuss, do not utilize reservoir, hand pumps, accumulators, 
regulators are the engine driven or the electrically driven power pumps for building normal pressure but similarities do exist in some components so between hydraulic and the pneumatic there are few things which is not there in the in this because we don't need the reservoir in, in pneumatic system we don't need hand pump accumulators and the regulators engine driven pumps so these th things are this is here one layout of a typical pneumatic system so here we can see that there is a air bottle here and here is a pressure reducing valve then it goes to here a support pressure it is it started from here then we have a non return valve here uh, this is the non return valve here this one then we have the pressure relief valve then it goes to the here air bottle this is emergency air bottle is charged then it goes to from here to the flight pedal where these things are uh, brake gauge and here we another it goes to the pressure reducing valve from the pressure reducing valve it goes to the pressure reducing valve here and this is a brake control valve and from this brake control valve air goes to the your brake unit or the right wheel and here is the left wheel here we have the emergency pressure systems so here is the normal pressure and here we we have the emergency system and so emergency is, is in the pink color so here we have on off and the hold so this we have the system this is on off and the hold systems are there so we have different types of pneumatic systems we have first one is high pressure system second one is the medium pressure system and third one is the low pressure system so what is the high pressure system for high pressure system air is usually stored in metal bottles pressure ranging from 1000 to 3000 psi this has two valves one is the charging valve and the second is ground operating compressors so here we have to understand that the high pressure is from 1000 to 3000 psi the pressure of the system will be this much this will contain two valves one is the charging valve and another is the ground operated compressor system if you talk about the medium pressure system so medium ranging from 100 to this is the 100 to 150 this is the range of the medium does not include air bottle in this you will not have the air bottle draws air from the jet engine compressor section so we need not to have any compressing pumps or anything this is taken from the compressor of the engine itself and this it is supplied for the uh, operation of the pneumatic systems if you talk about the low pressure system here we have the pressure ranging less than 100 psi used in reciprocating type of aircraft driven by electric motors or by aircraft engines so this is also operated by electrical motors or sometimes engine operated the pump is uh, operating by the help of the engine now if we further the slides we have this type of uh, this problem uh, contents are there aircraft pneumatic system introduction vacuum system pneumatic use in small aircraft pneumatic system components air pumps pneumatic system operations action before every flight failure causes early recognition emergency procedure special disorientation and the redundancy option these i am going to discuss so here i will see that aircraft vacuum system there are few components of aircraft especially the instruments they are operating by the vacuum of the aircraft and how this vacuums are generated this you can see and what are the parts of the vacuum system we should have one pump then we should have a relief valve then we should have a vacuum air filter we should have a suction gauge gyro instrument it will have attitude indicator and the heading indicator this you can see here this is the heading indicator and this is the attitude indicator these are operated by the 
help of aircraft vacuum vacuum systems are there and this equipments or instruments which are fitted on the cockpit is operated by the help of aircraft vacuum systems pneumatic use in a small airplane so this we can see here that here we have the gyro compass here it is only one and used in a small airplanes okay so here we have the gyro compass is here here then we have the artificial horizon this is the first this is the second and this is the turn indicator it is this one is the third third second so gyro compass is used to give the direction of the aircraft in which direction you want to go then artificial horizon this is the artificial horizon it will maintain the rolling state of the aircraft if aircraft is rolled this part will also move and accordingly you will see that pilot will observe that the aircraft is rolling how much degree and this is the turn indicator left turn and the yawing it is so the yawing is so the rolling so these are the equipments and these are working with the help of vacuum system of the aircraft now pneumatic systems and its component that we have to discuss about pneumatic system so in this we can have one air pump we can have a vacuum regulator we can have a inlet air filter overboard vent line then we have the gauges here we have the attitude indicator then heading indicator then we have a system indicator suction gauge gyro flag this you can see it is a flag and annunciator lights so these things are there here i will uh, show you the a system here we have air inlet filter so the air which is coming from the system from the vacuum system has to be cleaned any moisture or any dust or dirt particle has to be restricted from there it goes to the here uh, in this system of uh, heading indicator and then it goes to the attitude indicator this attitude indicator will is also operated by the help of this then we have the suction gauge so here it will uh, give how much suction is generated and this will go to the vacuum regulator from here it is regulated how much amount of is required and then it is a air pump this air pump is sucking from here so air will come from the ambient air this ambient air will be sucked by the help of this pump air will start sucking from here it will go here it will go here then it will go to the return and it will be go to the vacuum regulator and then it will go outside again in ambient so th this is the working principle of a pneumatic uh, system and few components are shown here for the reference here we have one filter so another component is a filter if you see here this is the filter here this filter is made like this there are so many uh, here filter elements are there and air is entering from here and then it will go and then it will pass and then it will go out out and in and if any particles are there it will be absorbed here and it will be removed in due course of time it will be cleaned so here we have the pneumatic air filter it prevents system from contamination is this contamination may be dust sand oil grease and so many other parts which can which is not required even moisture also so like this it is remove air particulates clean air is essential to good operation if you want to operate in a good way a very good and clean air is required moisture free air is required also different types of contamination has to be removed for this purpose 
Also, we have the regulator that is called the pressure regulator. So, we should regulate the pressure how much we want. So, a schematic is shown here. This is the inlet. From this inlet, a pipe is coming and air is entering. And from here, it is the regulator. It is spring loaded. Accordingly, it will regulate the pressure as per the as per the requirement of the system. So, pneumatic pressure regulator, it prevents the system over pressurization. So, if the pressure is high, pipe may burst or some filter may spoil or some leakage may be there. To avoid that, we should make sure that the system should operate within the given amount of pressure. It should not go high, it should not go to the low also. Ensure proper calibration. Also, a proper calibration of the system is ensured by this system. Next component is air pump. The heart of the pneumatic system is pressure or vacuum air pump, usually engine driven. Two basic types of air pumps are used. Wet air pump used engine oil to lubricate pump internally. Dry air pump more common have graphite veins inside pump casing self lubricating as pump rotates. So here we have wet air pump. These pumps are lubricated by the oil which can be supplied from the oil system. Another type of is a dry air pump. This is not lubricated but they are made by the graphite veins. Graphite veins are the self lubricated and the system will be working accordingly. So, pneumatic system operation, the same we have shown earlier also in previous slide, but th there I have just explained about the components and here I am going to discuss about how this thing is operated and how this system is working. Filter air is pulled through the system by the vacuum pump. So, here is a pump or air pump. This air pump is may be operated by electrically or by the engine by anything. This is operated. Evacuated air passes through the instrument case causes gyro to spin. So, this air from the ambient is entering via the filter and this will go to the gyro here. So, these gyros will rotate and they will spin inside. Inside we have the gyroscopes. Spinning gyro provides rigidity in space for instrument reference. So, this rotation will provide the reference to the instrument. Air exhaust through gyro, pressure gauge exhaust port. This will go from the exhaust port. Gaze measures system pressure. Here is a gaze. This measures the measures the system pressure. Failure warning systems come if these things are not working. A red light A red light will emulate and this you have to red light will illuminate if the system is failed. Before flight inspection, what you have to do? Check for oil leaks. Whenever aircrafts are going for the flight, there are some inspections. These inspections are called the before flight. before flight inspection. Another is the after flight. And third one is turn around. So it is called BFS. This is called AFS and this is called TRS. Turn around 
servicing before flight servicing after flight servicing and the turn around servicing okay so here this you can see that they are the servicing not the inspection okay so we have to ensure that they are check for any oil leak because it is lubricated by the oil so there should not be any oil leak check for loose fittings allow into the system means any lubricants or anything should not be there check for the clamps for oil leaks this all clamps you should see that there should not be any oil leaks should not be present in the system this we have to ensure before any aircraft goes for the flight so what are the causes of the failure of this vacuum system so first one is the system contamination if your filter is not working properly it is old or it is already contaminated filter itself and you are uh, using for a long time the system will be contaminated your so many metal particles your uh, dust particles sand particle will enter inside the system and your system will start malfunction solid particles in pneumatic systems damage pump and plug valve openings so if any sand particle or any solid particle is entering in the air system it will damage the pump and also the valves which are opening and the closing on the system liquid from oil water or the engine cleaning solvent so liquid also not permitted and this liquid may come from the cooling oil or the lubricating oil water during rain and other things or engine cleaning solvent sometimes we clean the engine from there this solvent may enter inside this air system restrictions leaks within the system a loose fitting or a damaged hoses worn out misuse or incorrectly routed hoses these are the sudden changes in engine speed if you just change the engine speed abrupt engine deacceleration sudden engine stoppage if you all of sudden you stop the engine or you from high speed to low speed if you do there are chances of uh, failure of this system may occur here some breakage is there breakage of the pump this material break broken parts are shown here early fault recognition prevention is better than cure so we should always have that it should not fail but before failing we should assess that this aircraft is uh, if any problem is going to happen or not so fault early fault recognition is very much essential pneumatic system health can be determined by the indications on either the vacuum gauge or the flags on the attitude indicator this you can see here this is the gyro on a red flag this indicate that some problem going to happen some problem going to happen very shortly means there may be some problem somewhere restrictions are there somewhere something is there this will come and also here this red lights will start illuminating before fault actually happened system is working but this you can see here some lights will be visible these lights if they are start visible are blinking sometimes stopping sometimes this indicates that there is going to be future failure we should take necessary precaution clean the filter clean the line check the pumps check the leak check and other things so this you can see that annunciators and flags provide an early indication of a pneumatic system failure so this annunciators and this flag if they are coming here this you can see here if they are coming this you can understand that they are the 
early indication of problems means there is going to some problem please do some rectification before it 100% going to damage inaccurate conflicting instrument information so how early first one is the pneumatic system health can be determined by the indication on either the vacuum gaze or flex on the attitude indicator so vacuum gaze or this is the flag which is shown this you can see it here next one is the inaccurate conflicting instrument information somewhere if it is not proper the inaccurate and some abnormal reading will be visible suction pressure gauge indicates outside normal operating green range so this suction pressure there is a uh, green zone your indicator should be in the green zone if it is going to the red zone or orange zone in other zone it means there is going to be some problem spotting pneumatic system failure early reduces chances of special deorientation now so some statistics are there for the failure and all and then we can see that 90% of the failures are fatal they are dangerous if the pneumatic systems are working and it is there is some problem there is going to be the problem a serious problem 90% problems are going to be very serious and the 5% is non fatal this you can see here 1995 to 2004 accidents caused by the vacuum failure so first quarter and the second quarter is shown here while pneumatic systems failure alone do not cause accidents special de disorientation does and tragic tragically these accidents are almost always fatal so what happened if pneumatic system is fail nothing is going to happen for the aircraft but the your instrument will give erratic reading and that will cause the disorientation of the aircraft is supposed to go in this direction but the reading is here and you are going in this direction so you are not reaching to the destination and your fuel may be drained out your aircraft is without fuel so in that you have to ditch the aircraft so like this a secondary problem will generate and that will create the uh, fatal conditions here we have seen the statics of the special disorientation so if your location is disoriented so this you can see that different uh, visual uh, flight range in imc and vf in the visual flight range in vmc here is we have the instrument flight rating in imc and instrument flight rating in vmc and this you can see lot of problems are happening in the night north night and all day daytime less but if it is a night your systems are failed a huge amount of problem you are going to face Oh, because in the daytime you can see it the location and all but if you are in the night time it is very difficult to assess where you are moving emergency procedures we have to follow if some happen your systems are not working so how you can ensure that your aircraft is flying what procedure you have to follow that procedure is described in these uh, slides so activate a backup power supply for pneumatic so if you see that the power is the problem you try to make it a backup power auxiliary vacuum pump if you have try to use that backup power maintain partial panel instrument flying so try to fly with a panel instruments cover up or simulate loss of flight instrument make timed turns notify atc you inform to the atc that i am going to face this problem in imc seek and fly vmc so visual you have to start flying if your instruments are not working properly another very important issue is special disorientation so your aircraft will be disoriented from the required area to the another area your aircraft will try to go when your instruments disagree confusion dizziness and uncertainty can cause loss of control 
स्पेशल डिसोरियंटेशन आकर्स क्विकली वेन आउटसाइड विजुअल रेफरेंसेस इज पुअर सच एज इन नाइट आई एम सी एंड दज सो ड्यूरिंग द क्लाउड ड्यूरिंग द अदर बैड वेदर कंडीशन डिसोरियंटेशन में टेक प्लेस एंड दिस इज है ड्यू टू द इंस्ट्रूमेंट नॉट गिविंग प्रॉपर वैल्यू सो इट विल ट्राई टू कंफ्यूज द पायलट योर इंस्ट्रूमेंट आर लेजी एंड दे आर नॉट रिस्पॉन्डिंग समटाइम्स इट इज गुड एंड समटाइम्स इट इज एक्टिंग वेरी बैड सो इफ इट इज है लाइक दिस देन दिस स्पेशल डिसोरियंटेशन एंड एयरक्राफ्ट विल नॉट रीच इन द रिक्वायर्ड पोजिशन इट विल बी ड्रिफ्टेड सम अदर एरिया and a huge amount of confusion will generate for the pilot so it is called the special disorientation and this is happening due to the air vacuum systems or the pneumatic system of the instrumentation next we have the redundancy option we know the meaning of the redundancy that when aircraft is flying nothing should happen there should not be any problem aircraft should fly with a good condition make sure that the your gyros your artificial horizon your heading indicator all are working properly there should not be any confusion so redundancy should be 100% failing should not system should not fail at any cost so electrical power instruments it should be properly designed it should be properly calibrated all equipments the pressure and all the filters and this thing should be cleaned as and when the required as per the maintenance manual of the aircraft follow all the servicing procedures as per the given maintenance manual secondary air pump also to be installed if the primary air pump is failed the secondary air pump should work and it is it can be worked by the emergency or the standby power system so always you should have one another redundancy so a second system can operate if anything is getting failed pressure differential switches should be there and these switches should make sure that the aircraft systems are working properly so i am in in my this last slide and in this what we have learned today is pneumatic systems fall and unexpected times the danger in the event of pneumatic system failure is special disorientation have a good knowledge what power systems on the aircraft you fly practice on the partial panel flying and be familiar with aircraft instruments whether you rent own or operate become familiar with the maintenance history of the aircraft so the summary aircraft pneumatic systems introduction we have done vacuum systems we have done pneumatic use in small aircraft we have done pneumatic system components which consist of the air filter regulator pumps nrvs and so many other we have already done air pumps pneumatic system operations action before every flight what we have to do if the aircraft is going for the flight we have to see that there should not be any oil leakage there should not be any clamp loose or there should not be any damage to the any type of components early recognition is very much essential we should make sure that before the system fail we should be able to recognize that aircraft is this pneumatic system is going to fail we have also done about the failure of statics of the failure and how this failures are happening and these are 95% the accidents are the uh, fatal emergency procedures what we have to follow if the these systems are getting failed we should try to operate vfr mode a special disorientation we have discussed that if the systems are failed and they are not working properly your aircraft orientation will be not in the required condition and the redundancy means there should be some 
another system mostly like a uh, pumps they are failed so this pump we should have an auxiliary pump or some standby pump and these pumps also should be able to operate without the main power supply a uh, some emergency power supply to be provided and like this i have covered the i have taken this is the reference from the uh, http site slip prayer dot com slide one two seven one one seven two and any questions you can ask me this is my email id y d d w i v e d i at the rate gmail dot com i will request all the viewers to like and subscribe to this channel please give the comments about any queries on this hope you like it be tuned for my next class thank you very much for joining for my this class thank you very much like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates